the way she is. The new dingle van. So this is a Citroen Relay H, H3L3. So it's the tallest relay they make and they, they do make one a little bit longer but I'm happy enough with the L, L3. L4 would be a, a bit of a different beast from my old van. Conversion wasn't done myself. As you can see it's a bit too, bit too pro for me. But I did a I've designed it um, and help of a company called Smart Van Conversions in Derby. Like half the price of anyone else quoting me. Um, asking about, everyone was like £10,000 upwards to do anything. So I was just like, oh yeah, great, I'll be in touch. Um, and obviously just left it and thought, I'm going to have to do this myself until I came across this company just randomly on Google. We've got, let's go inside. Put lights on. All LEDs. And uh, got sort of this, the pop-up skylight with blackout. And like a bug net. Here's a double-sized bed. I'm six foot six, so I can't really compromise with a small bed. <laughs> Got a little worked up unit with, mm, it is a fridge, but it's more of a glorified cooler. It's got a separate switch here. Uh, I've got the push lock handles, just like a camping stove. At the moment, nothing in there, just the essentials, the bay. Plenty, uh, plenty of storage. Uh, and what I wanted was a second sort of seating area. Um, so what I've got, I've got the, the two passenger seats swivel. Um, Pop the table out and they spin. And also, this uh, bench area here pulls out into a, a single bed. Um, I will try and um, sp spin them and pull that out so you can actually have a have a look at it. We've got USB, charge GoPros, mobile phones, anything like that. Then. A 12 volt as well. That keeps it. It's pretty good as well, handy. It's not, you know, it's not far from the bed if you want your phone and whatever. And uh, reading light here in the corner, which switches between like a, a white light and a blue light, which is pretty smart. They just added that in. Uh, this is where the, unless your battery is, it's just stored under the, what was the bench. Um, it's got the battery and this to keep it protected, fuses and solar charge control where it just shows you, showing at the moment that the, the lights are on, fully charged uh, and obviously it's taken in from the sun above.
there you go that's just for the table popped out but obviously I can put that back in we've got the seating area here obviously with the table just here opens it right up more than enough room to get a few people in there I'm pretty happy with it what I'll do now is I'll uh, just pull out the single bed so you can see that. pulled out so just three cushions from the bench just become this mattress again you can just leave the seat swivel so you ain't got to spin it every time um, you just leave it like that and you'll get there's three seats technically so you could get three three steps in there just a bit, a bit more snug up there um, yeah and all the might as well show everyone the important bit now the the garage Not quite finished the rear. I've got like a, a, a hanging shoe organizer that's going to go here. It'll, it'll actually stick on uh, with magnets under the through the carpet basically. And, um, I will put in the link below the, the actual name. I don't know how to pronounce it. We've got this board here. It's going to have some hooks put in. Kind of like this, yeah. From Ikea and that'll be for hydration packs, helmets and big enough shelf here to put some tools and whatever in. It's got some more LEDs underneath and it's a bit more gimmicky but I have just got, you see a lot with the, the double slide out trays so this is just one one big slide out tray um, and I'll, I'll pull it out now so you can just see what it what it looks like and this is the tray out and then what happens is you just take the front wheel off the bike through axle goes through here and then I just got some of these these bags and again I'll put a link below just puts the front wheel in, fits all wheel sizes, 26 up to 29ers. Um, got four of them and you, you can just sit them in between the bikes, they don't move anywhere. Uh, yeah, so it's, that's it. So if anything you want to know that I've not described, um, or any questions, just pop them down below in the comments and then, yeah, give it, Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, yeah, give us subscribe. We plan to do a trip next year into Europe, so if you'd like to see anything like that, travelling and that, subscribe. Uh, and anything you'd like to know about the van. Cheers.